BYU last night, 23 to 16. Kelly Smith looked to have daylight. On their first series, the Cougars ran and passed the ball down the field, and when Robbie Bosco hit Scott Norberg, the seventh-ranked men from Provo held a predictable 7-0 lead. But anyone expecting a blowout was silenced on the next series as Sammy Garza hit former Andrew Speedster Clarence C.A. on a 52-yard pass play for a touchdown, and the game was tied at 7. When Hugo Castellanos boomed a 50-yard field goal with plenty of room to spare, the game was tied at 10. The minor defense was spectacular. Four interceptions, four pass deflections, but this was the big one. Danny Taylor picks off a Bosco pass and races 100 yards for what proved to be the winning point. Watch Robert Murray take down the last man with a chance to get Danny. I didn't know I had to go 100 yards. I just knew it was far. But, uh, no big thing. It just had to be done for us to win. After Bosco fumbled the ball away on BYU's next possession, Castellanos came in and booted a 31-yarder as the half ended. So the Miners led 20 to 10 at intermission. In the third quarter, BYU got its only points of the second half on a one-yard run by Lakey Himuli. The point after touchdown was wide. It was 20 to 16 UTEP. Hugo added another three-pointer, and with time running out, Bosco tried to rally the Cougars. But Pat Baker sealed the victory with this interception in the end zone. right now. I am just kind of weak in the knees and just so thankful to God that something like this to be pulled off, that the players responded, everything. I'll tell you what, this is the best victory I have ever been around, okay? I, all through high school, this ranks up the best. I mean, they're, they're ranked number seven, they were national champions last year, and we beat them. That should say something for us. We are a good team. We're going to win the rest of the games. This makes up for the whole three years I was here. Let me tell you, because we're on a roll now. This feels the best I've ever felt. So UTEP upset seventh-ranked BYU 23-16, one of the biggest wins in minor football history.